Hi everyone, I have you guys super close to me today because I almost burned my eye off and uh, so I'm not wearing contacts and I cannot see the viewfinder of my camera if I put the camera too far away. So today we're going to film very close to my face, which is okay because I'm going to be doing a full face of Huda Beauty. So you actually get to see the products in action up close. I don't know how I did this, but I ordered Lens Solution and... <laughs> Whew. What? Man, that was crazy. As I was getting ready to film this video, I was like, okay, let me put on my contact lenses. And I had just ordered a new solution today because I ran out of the old solution and I ordered it through Instacart. I'm like, yay, I'll order it from Walmart. It'll come through Instacart easy. I don't have to go anywhere. So as I'm getting ready for the video, I pour the solution onto my contact because I, you know, take care of my contacts. I clean them before putting them on. I clean them before putting them in the container. So I'm like, I'm going to put the solution on my contacts, clean it, and then put it in my eye. So that's what I did. I cleaned the contact. I put it in my eye and then my eye started to burn. Like this is, I was like, did I have spices on my hand? Did I not clean my hands properly? Cause I had just had dinner. I'm like, what is going on? I am panicking. And this is the burning that I had never ever felt in my life before. Like way worse than any sort of like, you got soap in your eyes accidentally, like really bad burning. And I'm, I don't know what to do. And I have a contact in my eye. And then luckily the contact fell out of my eye and then I like splashed it with water. And then I looked at the lens solution and it said 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I basically put 3% hydrogen peroxide into my eye. Ugh, and it still hurts. It's red, it's irritated. I'm gonna try to like keep it calm, not glare too much. Keep my eyes calm, calm, calm. Yeah, so hopefully I won't go blind. It's irritated right now, but so far I can see. This, that bottle needs to have like a real big warning. Do not put on your eyes. I had to read through a whole bunch of instructions in the back to figure out that it actually said there, don't put it on your eyes, but no like huge big warning on it. And it was all my fault. I ordered it. First I thought maybe the Instacart person messed up because the Instacart person just kept replacing some of my items, not even asking for approval. Like I ordered, this is gonna make me sound so entitled, but. <laughs> I ordered pasture-raised eggs and the Instacart person just replaced it with the white eggs and and then I ordered so I ordered like vanilla ice cream bars and he replaced them with chocolate. Usually they ask for approval and if you don't give them approval, they'll just refund you the money and that would be the proper thing to do. Like if you want a particular item and you don't have it, you refund. You don't just replace it with what you think is equal. So I thought maybe the person, the Instacart person messed up, but then I checked my history and everything. It was, it was me. Yeah, I did that to myself. So full face of Huda Beauty, here we the go. The Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam is silicone free smoothing primer. Sealed for freshness. So let's look at my pores before. Without makeup, I feel like my pores are not emphasized. It's after I put on makeup that my pores become more visible. So maybe I won't really know how good this is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a whole lot where my pores are. Maybe that will help. Ooh, it's like drying out. Weird. I'm probably using too much but when I first used it before and I used a little bit, it helped a little bit with the pores, but not a whole lot. 
Okay, this obviously is a little too much. Next, we're going to take Huda Beauty's Fall Filter, Fall, Fall, Fall Filter Foundation. Very thick foundation, like really thick. And the pump is horrible. I hate the pump. I would never pay full price for this foundation just because of the pump. But depending on your base, sometimes it acts really weird. Like it gives me these black dots on the skin when I use a milk makeup primer. So it's not the easiest foundation to use. But it looks good on the skin, except for when you get black dots. I'm not sure if it's called a luminous foundation, but there's nothing luminous about it. Okay, so with Foundation, without foundation, with foundation. It gives you good coverage. I'm gonna try covering this pimple and this black dot here. It's just certain areas, it acts weird. It like gets a life of its own. This is the Huda Beauty Fall Filter Concealer. To like, keep my eyes nice and calm. So I don't put any strain on them. Hopefully I don't get any annoying eyeshadow into my eyes. So I definitely will not be using any glitter eyeshadow. I'm only filming today because it's vlogmas. Otherwise I would have been like, nope. I need a rest. I'm not filming after that whole thing with burning off my eyeball. This concealer is like one of the very few concealers that does not settle into my eyes. Into my eyes, oh my god. That does not settle into my lines. I'm using Huda Beauty's Desert Dusk Palette. This palette is almost two years old. I think it's time I stop using it, but before I stop using it, I'm gonna use it one more time. So <laughs> we're gonna use it today. So let's start off by creating that bit, a little bit of a base with the cream eyeshadow and with this color called Eden. I'm gonna go with this taupey brown shade. Use this Morphe E36 brush. Next, I'm going to take this shade. Not the most amazing shade, but it's actually building up. Now I'm going into that pink shade. Pretty disappointing for a metallic shade. I'm going into this shade right here. I'm just gonna apply in the inner corner. It's like a meh, 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 with this orange shade right here. Tuda Beauty Life Liner Quick and Easy. It's actually brown. I know I'm going a little crazy with this liner. The mascara, this mascara has two sides. This side has a curved wand. A little too big for the lower, lower lashes. I initially had purchased this palette. I loved it. I didn't know too much about makeup at that time. I was just like, wow, look at these colors. Look at the packaging. I love the little eyes on the packaging. But after having used lots and lots of eyeshadow palettes in the past two years, now I'm like, wow, these shades, like, the mattes are okay, but the shimmer shades are like, ugh. They're not super impactful. Wow, this got tarantula on me. Closer look. Yeah. 
that really thickened my lashes. I think I applied a little too much. But here's the completed eye look. All right, so here's the finished look. I think the finished look still looks really nice. It's not that it looks bad, but the metallic shimmers were not as beautiful as her newer palettes and as beautiful as other brands. But overall, I mean, the look came out okay, I think. And I don't know what happened with the mascara today. It looks like I have tarantula legs on my lashes, but uh, <laughs> I liked it last time. Toasted Tangerine Cream Blush. Formula's okay. Just like a regular cream blush. Nothing super special. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with my fingers. It's not like super emollient. Like it's a nice comfortable formula and you can just kind of, even though it looks super scary initially but you can kind of tap it and blend it in for a more natural look the Tantor contour and bronzer cream this is in the shade light it's a nice cream bronzer the only problem I have with this is that they don't have enough shade range this is light but it's pretty dark on even my skin Luminous Pressed Powder. My pores are looking good with that primer. I'm going to use this lippy. This is a lip pencil and it's in the shade Warm Brown. You can see it's a really good pencil. It's creamy and it's nice and clean. It's liquid matte lipstick. This is the shade Bikini Babe. This Silk Balm Icy. Tingling sensation, so I think it's supposed to be a little bit of a pumping plumping lip gloss all right so here is the completed look i think the foundation looks really nice on your skin like it gives a very nice coverage it makes your skin look smooth it makes your face look more put together if that makes any sense but it does have a tendency to emphasize a little bit of texture here and there so but overall when you look at your face it looks really nice and smooth the mascara you got to be a little bit careful you could end up getting tarantula eyelashes <laughs> and uh, the eyeshadow palette is not the best one which is why it probably goes on sale all the time the eyeliner is pretty good not a super pigmented eyeliner but a pretty decent eyeliner the cream blush is nice. The liquid lipstick is your basic liquid lipstick, which does dry out, which is why I put the little bit of lip gloss over it. The lip liner is really good. It's nice and creamy and it looks clean. The good lip liner. Concealer is one of my favorite concealers. The pressed powder, I wonder how it will be if I just use that instead of a foundation, how that would work out. I'm really curious to see that because it was giving me a lot of coverage as I was applying it. And I forgot about the setting spray. This is a Resting Boss Face setting spray. I think it's just, I'm not gonna spray it because it's a very strong scent. It's not a good experience spraying this on your face. It literally feels like you're spraying perfume on your face and a very strong perfume. So I'm not going to spray this on my face, but it does make your makeup last longer. All right, so that's it for my full face of Huda Beauty. I hope that was helpful. 
I hope my energy was okay because in the beginning I couldn't even open my eye because it was hurting and it just felt really strained. It is feeling better so I think it should be okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I will also link all the products down below. And some of them might be affiliate links. Thank you. Bye. Bye.